Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can store and recall variables using the memory function on the Casio FX83 GTX Classwiz calculator. To do this we'll be using the shift key that looks like this located here, the alpha key that looks like this located here, the store and recall key that looks like this, located here, as well as the independent variable or M key that looks like this, located here. We'll also be using the A through F, X, Y, and M memory slots that are located along these keys indicated in red. If we just want to store a value, like for example 5 into X, we do this by placing the 5 on the screen and then pressing the STO key and then X. There we see 5 into X, that's been stored. We can also store the result of calculations. For example, if we do 8 plus 2 equals 10 and want to store that as Y, again we just press the store key and then select the Y memory slot. There we go. We can view what we have stored by pressing the shift and then the store key with the shift function of recall. That'll bring us to this menu here where we see A, B, C, D, E, F, and M memory slots all have zero in them, but X has five and Y has 10 as we stored. If we want to recall these for use in formulas, we can do this by pressing the alpha key and then selecting the memory slot. So if we do x plus y, again we press alpha and then the x plus alpha y equals, and we see we get the result of 15, which 5 plus 10 is correct. The memory function is especially helpful when using variables in long or complex formulas like for example to solve this triangle using Pythagoras, which we know is a squared plus b squared equals c squared and can be rewritten as the square root of a squared plus b squared equals c. If we call this side a and this side b and want to solve for c, we can start by storing the 4 as our a. So we place 4 on the screen, press store a, there we go and this side as our b, so 3 as b. There we go, we now have our two sides stored and we can use them to solve for c. So we go square root alpha a squared plus alpha b squared equals, and we get the result of 5 which is our C side. And we can then store this as our C memory slot in case we need to use it later. There we go, answer into C. This calculator also has an M or independent memory variable represented by this key here, located here. The independent memory is unique because you can add or subtract to it using the M plus or M minus function. For example, if we stored 100 into our independent memory, there we go, 100 into M, and then wanted to add 2 to it, all we would have to do is place 2 on our screen and then press the M plus key. There we go. Now if we recall our M, we see it's 102. We can subtract from this number the same way. Let's say we wanted to subtract 50. We place 50 on the screen, and then we would use the shift function, which is M minus. So we press shift, M minus, and now when we use our M function, we see it's 52. You'll notice when we have something stored in our independent variable slot, there's an M at the top of our screen. This just lets us know we have something saved there. 
If we want to get rid of that, we can do so by saving zero over our independent memory. So we can press zero, store M. The M at the top of our screen has now disappeared. We can clear all our individual memory slots the same way by storing zero into them. Or if we want to clear them all, we can do shift nine, which brings up our reset menu. And then we can press two and then select the reset memory, press equals. Our memory has been reset. And if we check our recall memory screen, it's all zeros. All right, I hope this helps and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.